Hello everyone. Well, um, I got something that um, I didn't expect I'd be getting, but something that I've wanted for a while. This is the case that it comes in. You can see me back there. Hi. Um, it's a really nice case. And uh, let's see here if we can get this focus in. Yes, this is a prop replica number 405 of 1500. And what is it a prop replica of? Well, it's a replica of the so called Dust Buster Phaser from seasons one and two of Star Trek The Next Generation. This is from Factory Entertainment, and it's, I guess, a one-to-one -one scale replica of the Dustbuster Phaser, and named as such by the members of the production, because it looks like the old vacuum cleaners, the handheld vacuum cleaners from the 80s. I remember when they came out, and um, my family actually had one. My dad did. So... This is one of my favorite phasers, unlike a lot of Star Trek fans who are kind of fair weather fans. Um, I'm a little more of a diehard Trekkie, and uh, I actually love the first two seasons of TNG. I acknowledge that they are um, more awkward uh, than seasons three through seven, but um, I still love them. And I had a, uh, a replica of this a long time ago. And unfortunately, it got lost in my breakup. And um, I haven't yet bought another one. Well, when I heard that this replica was coming out, um, I went, wow, I'd really love to have one of those. So I saved up my pennies, and, um, yeah, here it is. And, um, I've never owned one of these kind of high-end replicas before, and I've always wanted to. Um, so the fact that, that this was my first, uh, is kind of, kind of fun. So, let's take a look at it here. When you first get it, you'll need to... Uh, if I can do it and see if it's easier from the other end. And this is this is die cast metal, by the way. It's it's metal. So it's it's pretty substantial. It's not one of these things where, you know, if you drop it, it's gonna break into a million pieces. It probably won't be good for the ele electronics, but and what's cool about this is that it has a couple of little um button type things which fit into here but as you can see uh, taking it in and out will scrape the paint so there's an on and off switch when you first get it you'll want to switch it on and um, you may want to change the batteries I haven't yet because I just pulled it out of the package now let's see here let's put it in this way sorry I'm trying to navigate this while I'm doing it on camera Okay, now let's see what kind of functions this thing has. Okay, so this gold button on the left is the activation button. That's how you turn it on. This button apparently turns it off. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Well, that's odd. I wonder if something wrong with the batteries, maybe? It was working fine just a minute ago. Okay, here we are for round two. Let's hope it works this time. Okay. Okay, so there are different settings, and I literally just pulled this out of the package, so I'm still learning how to use it. Okay, um, so the first setting is light stun. 
and it's just a quick flash. We'll get it from this angle. Okay. And then the second setting is medium stun. No real change in the in the uh, sound. Well, maybe it's a little bit longer on that one. Okay, and then this is heavy stun. So um, on this one, I think this is thermal effects one. Um, on this one, it uh, it just flashes very quickly, but you have the longer sound effect. Okay, so some of these settings, uh, like thermal effects one. Here, let me show you the. These are the instructions which tell you how to operate it. So thermal effects one. Yeah. So settings marked with uh, double asterisks will fire once once when the trigger is pushed and will also s simulate a continuous fire option if the trigger is pressed and held down. Um, yeah, so everything after thermal effects one will do that, and I love that. I think that's so cool. Awesome. Let's go for thermal effects, too. Go for disrupt A. And disrupt B. Do uh, number eight, setting eight, which is disintegrate. So it appears to really only have uh, two settings or two uh, sounds that it makes uh, when firing. Now, if you hold down both of these uh, power buttons. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's do that again, just so you guys can see it. And it turns the unit off. And the, the indicator here does turn red. So, um, as far as the, the design, it looks accurate. Um, the size, to me, felt like Oh, maybe it's a little smaller than it, it should be, but no, I think it's about the right size. Um, there is one inaccuracy with regards to uh, the paint. So the Dustbuster phasers, um, they were, I think, a dove gray color, and um, they had a splatter pattern, all, uh, a silver splatter pattern all over them, which this one does not have. And, of course, that splatter pattern was um, something that was very popular for a very short period of time 
um, from, well, you know, the mid 80s to maybe the very early 90s, 90, 91, 92, something like that. Um, didn't appear much after that just because, you know, the styles changed. But it, this doesn't have that splatter pattern. That's fine, you know, if you're, if you have plenty of money and you don't mind, uh, you know, modifying yours, you might, you might want to uh, have it. I want to add that yourself. Let's see here. Let me get some more light on the subject, shall we? And it's very high quality. Um, the emitter, I love the emitter. Um, it's the model that's available, the um, prop replica is a kit and it's kind of hard to paint to to mask off the inside of these bands um, so that they'll light up but um, I did it and you know it's not impossible but yeah I, I have to say though that this replica is far nicer than any of the screen used phasers um, but yeah this you know it was it was a lot of money um, basically for what you pay for this, you could probably buy an actual gun, a pretty nice one. But um, you know, I, I I've missed out on so many of these high-end prop replica phasers that I really wanted to get this one because I really do love the the Dustbuster phaser. I love this shape, the shape of the the front of the emitter. It's almost kind of it's like a very a uh, rounded rectangle, not quite an oval, you know, and that's a a design cue that um, was very, you know, it looks like the deflector of the Enterprise D, and uh, is very much uh, in indicative of early TNG, and that's one of the reasons I love it. And you know, it, it makes sounds and lights up and stuff. Some people might take theirs and just put it on a shelf and leave it there and, you know, take the batteries out and they'll be content with that. Me, I like to handle my props and I like to, to play around with them. I figure if if the thing makes light, you know, has lights and sounds, um, why not really just enjoy that and have fun with it, you know? But yeah, it's, it's very well done. Um, the, this is extremely glossy, and this whole front emitter is plastic, which one would expect, um, because you know it has to be translucent. But yeah, it's nice, and I think this is. Oh, uh, you see a little light leak there, but that's okay. Um, I believe this is uh, the season two version, because it has this lip here, this kind of rounded corner. Uh, around here. The season one version I think just went directly straight into the dust buster and it wasn't as um, blended. But yeah, this is wonderful and I love it. Um, I'm going to be binging. I've been holding off watching TNG um, waiting for this to uh, to arrive so now I'm gonna go and binge me some TNG and and love it and um, and have fun with the phaser and, you know, sh shoot the bad guys on the screen with it. Anyway, that's my review of the Factory Entertainment. That is Factory Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, Factory Entertainment. Um, they, they're actually sponsoring this video. Um, no, not really. But, um, yeah, this is my review of the Factory Entertainment Dustbuster Phaser. Comes with a really nice case. Um, I, the only thing I wish is if it came that it came with a stand, but I can probably buy one. Uh, an acrylic one on the secondary market. I want it shut off after a couple minutes, which is good. Saves your battery life. Anyway, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.